in recent years, the digital landscape has become a fertile ground for cyber criminals, exploiting the vulnerabilities of unsuspecting citizens and shipping off their hard-earned money. The trend is alarmingly upward with cyber crimes in India increasing exponentially. Welcome to VAR India News. Hour. India ranked 5th in the list of most breached countries with 5.3 million leaked accounts in 2023. Globally, a total of 299.8 million accounts were breached with the U.S. ranking first and amounting to 32% of all breaches from January through December. Russia took the second place, while France ranked third, followed by Spain and India. Data breaches are a matter of concern, as they put users at risk of being targeted with social engineering and identity theft attacks. Scammers are known to use breach data to send fake emails pretending to be from legitimate organizations. These emails might contain links with computer viruses or requests to disclose even more personal information. As per a report, cybercrime costs the world around $9.22 trillion in 2024 and it is expected to grow to $13.82 trillion by 2028. However, Pinpointing the geographical basis of cybercriminal activities remains challenging because they use methods that block their locations. Cybercriminals often employ sophisticated techniques such as anonymizing services and encryption to conceal their identities and locations. By using virtual private networks, VPNs, proxy servers, or the Tor network, they can obscure their IP addresses and route their traffic through multiple countries, making it difficult to trace their origins. A study says that Jamtara city, once considered the cybercrime capital of India, is no longer the epicenter. The study found that 35 hotspots in India are actively involved in cybercrime activities. The top 10 cybercrime hotspots in India collectively account for 80% of cybercrime-related cases in India. These districts are strategically located near India's capital or closer to the national capital region, NCR. These districts are strategically placed with multiple borders, making them easy targets for criminals. Cybercriminals continually adapt and evolve their tactics to evade detection and prosecution. They may use sophisticated techniques such as social engineering, encryption and anonymizing services to conceal their identities and locations, making it challenging for law enforcement to track them down. Cybercriminals operate in a global environment, exploiting the anonymity and reach of the internet to target victims from anywhere in the world. The challenges faced by law enforcement in tackling cyber crimes, including fraud and other digital offenses, are indeed multifaceted and can be daunting. Let's look into today's headlines. India is ranked 10th in the world for cyber crime. According to a recent report, advanced fee payment frauds rank highest in cybercrime in India and in global ranking, India comes at number 10. International researchers conducted a study in almost 100 nations for their World Cybercrime Index, which identified hotspots for different types of cybercrimes. Russia topped the list, following by Ukraine, China, the US, Nigeria and Romania. According to the writers, scams were discovered to be the speciality in India. WhatsApp introduces its Meta AI chatbot. In India, WhatsApp launched the Meta AI chatbot which lets users talk about anything. This function, which is based on the large language model Meta AI Lama, provides prompts. The Meta AI icon can be seen at the top right corner of the screen alongside the camera and new chat options the, and bears a striking resemblance to Microsoft's Cortana Assistant. It alerts users to AI-generated responses and is only available in a few countries. It is only available in English. Truecaller brings in a wave option for Indian 
Android users. With the release of Truecaller for Wave, Indian Android users can now handle their calls and messages from their desktop computers. Users can easily communicate, check their SMS inbox and recognize unknown calls. To activate this feature, go to the message page, choose messaging for Wave and then follow the on-screen directions to connect devices via QR code. Instagram to use AI to shield children from sextortion schemes. Meta has declared that it would be releasing new nudity prevention features on Instagram to protect kids from sextortion schemes. These initiatives coincide with charges from US lawmakers about the detrimental effects from the platform on children's mental health. Gangs that engage in sextortion use threats of disclosure to compel victims to provide obscene photos in exchange for money. OpenAI announces enhanced GPT-4 Turbo for chat GPT plus users and developers. OpenAI has launched an enhanced version of GPT-4 Turbo, making it accessible through an application programming interface API and for subscribers of chat GPT plus. GPT-4 Turbo represents the company's latest generative AI model, now trained with data up to December 2023. The updated model boosts new data processing capabilities. Developers can also now leverage the new API capability to deploy GPT-4 Turbo for image analysis. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.